Hello? Hello? Hi, sir. This is Jordan. I'm senior manager from the cancellation department. How are you doing up Spectrum? Uh, Jordan, cancellation department doing fine. You said Spectrum? Yes. Okay, what can I do for you, Jordan? Sir, last time, uh, you can see here, uh, we upgrade the software of your receiver box and you have to mail us a check and still we did not get it yet. Huh? Where do I need to mail a check to? To our Spectrum department, to the technical support team, sir. Oh, uh, I don't know. There's been nothing wrong with my phone. You know, I've had to, I've had to pay for uh, system upgrades in the past, but uh, I don't, I, I don't remember. I don't remember anyone asking me for a check recently, Jordan. Uh, when, when did this happen? Sir, the payment has due on your account. That's the reason I just gave you a call to inform you, because our high authority told me to cancel your service. Your high authority? I before I... But I don't remember your high authority ever, I mean, I don't. I didn't get a bill. If I'd have gotten a bill, I would have paid it. Uh, I don't remember getting a bill. When was it sent? Sir, I'm... Huh? Okay, okay, sir. What? Sir, I'm not talking about... I'm no, not talking you're... about your regular monthly bills. Not I'm packing... talking about the software installation security deposit fee. The software installation security deposit fee? Where, where does the bill come for that? I didn't get a bill. That is not goes to the billing department. That is a one-time upfront payment. You have to pay upfront. After that, you will get a written statement from our technical support team. Uh, well, when your technical support team never, never told me that this is the first I've heard of it, Jordan. No one's ever contacted me. You know, same. I think I need, I, I, you know what, I think I don't need to waste your time, I need to cancel your service right now. Well, I don't know what you'd want to do that for, I, you know, I'm, how am I supposed to pay the bill if I don't know that I've got a bill to pay? So I can give you the mailing address where you have to mail the check. Yeah, well why don't you do that instead of getting all pissy? Jesus Christ, is this your first day? You sound like you're about to wet your pants. Where does the check get sent to, Jordan? Okay, I have you grab your checkbook and pen and paper so I can give you the mailing address. I have a pen and paper, yeah. Okay, the mailing address starting from P.O. Box. Okay, it's P.O. Box. 3834. 3834. Oshkosh, Wisconsin. Oshkosh. Wisconsin, okay, and what's the zip up there, Jordan? And the zip code five four nine zero three. Okay, Oshkosh, Wisconsin, five four nine zero three. And who does this check need to be made out to? The check will be made out to D Net, capital letter D, as in David, dash the Net, N E T. Okay. Dnet. Amount was two. Yeah. Good. Dnet PO box three eight three four, Oshkosh, Wisconsin five four nine zero three, and the amount is how Correct. much? Two forty nine seventy five. Two forty nine seventy five for the update. And this is I'm just gonna write this in the uh, in the memo line. I'll just write what. Uh, um, yeah, you can, Update. you can, uh, you can, yeah, upgrade, you can put on the memo, upgrade, but top on the check, pay to the order of it's D-Net. Okay. And in the envelope, you have to write on the address on the envelope, which is P.O. Box 3834. Yeah. And the mark was 249.75. Okay. And can you confirm to me what will be the available check number, which you're going to mail it today, then I can update on your account. I don't know the check number right off the top of my head. My checkbook's upstairs, Jordan. Uh, Jordan, what's your last name? Jordan Belford. Belford? Yeah. And uh, is there a direct line that I can reach you at then if there's any sort of issue, Jordan? Sure. It's 850. Okay. 400. Zero, zero. Mm hmm. 3138. 3138. Okay, very good. 
Uh, very good. Jordan Belford. Uh, I'll go ahead and get this check made out uh, and have it uh, mailed off to Oshkosh, so I should be able to get it in the mail uh, in the next couple of days, no problem. Okay, but uh, if you uh, have a possibility, you just have to confirm me the available check number, because once our technical support team, the upgradation department, once they will receive your check, they will be informed to you. Informed to me? Yeah, because whenever we receive the payment from the customer side, we always inform them. Oh, you inform them when they get the check. Yeah, that's fine. You can let me know. That'll be fine, Jordan. Uh, I don't have so the checkbook. The check number, right? I, I told you that I'm downstairs right now working in the studio, and I don't have the checkbook in front of me. So, and actually, oh, you know, okay. my old lady, Trixie, she's off to the casino, and uh, she's probably got the checkbook with, it in, with her anyway, but I don't know. What difference does it make which check number it is? If it's a 1,000 or a 1,001, I mean, it, it's uh, they all, it all spends the same, doesn't it? Okay, okay, I understand, no problem. And when you're gonna mail this check today? Jordan, it's like you're not even paying attention sometimes. I just told you I should be able to get it in the mail at least in the next two days. It shouldn't be a problem at all. Okay, okay, no problem, sir. Thank you for the time, sir. Is there anything else I can do for you? Well, you should know that if you tried robbing me face to face, I'd rip your fur with my bare hands, Jordan. Do you think your parents are appreciative of the fact that you're a phone scammer? Sir, i just doing my job. If you don't mail the check, I don't want to force you. I'm just going to cancel your TV service, and in future, you will not be able to watch your TV. That's all. You're an idiot and an asshole, a liar, a thief, a slacker, and a punk. If you tried robbing me face-to-face, right. I'd knock your bitch ass down. Uh, hey, you know what YouTube is? You know what YouTube is, Jordan? You ever see any of those scam baiting videos on YouTube where the, the scammers call you up on the I telephone want, sir, sir, and then they get sir, put up on YouTube sir, sir. lying and being a total fool, making an idiot of themselves on YouTube? You ever see any of those? Sir? Yeah. After fifteen, uh, after twenty minutes, you will not be able to watch your damn TV. And also, I'm gonna send you a technician. He will take the boxes from your house, and you have to pay the penalty. Yeah, Why? Yeah, our you call send. has been recorded. Yeah. Our call has been recorded. Yeah, I'm recording okay. it too. I'm recording it too to put it up on YouTube so the world. <laughs> oh, oh, Jordan, Jordan, want me to send him some money to Oshkosh? Well, I tell you what. I got a better idea. I'm going to forward all this to the FTC, and uh, they can deal with Jordan. 